What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. I go over hack rank and leak code tutorials, so check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't already, and please hit that like button so I can uh, grow this channel. Um, it helps a lot actually. Uh, today I'm going over three something closest. So I'm finally like recovering from COVID. So I feel good. Um, I'm gonna get back to studying several hours a day. Anyways, the description reads, given an array nums of n integers and an integer target five, three integers and nums such that the sum is closest to target. Uh, return the sum of the three integers. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution. Um, so they give us an array. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is, so I'm gonna kinda like whiteboard the code a little. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is sort it. So arrays dot sort nums. And then just like every other like three sum problem, two sum, four sum problem, we're going to just loop through it. Um, so we're going to have four int i equals zero. Um, I less than length dot nums minus two because we have to it's a three sum, so we're checking for three numbers at the same time. And then we're gonna do an and, sorry, if I don't remember how to draw an and symbol. Um, and we're also gonna create, so up here we're gonna have int diff, which is difference. Um, but we're gonna set it to equal to integer dot max value. Now we don't wanna do min value because we're gonna be checking for the min value because it's three sum closest. Um, so we'll do that. So the other thing is, and diff does not equal zero. Um, if diff is zero, then we know that's the closest. There's you can't get closer than zero. Um, so there's that. And there's our for loop. Um, so then we're just gonna want to do like two pointers again. So we're gonna have the left and the right pointer. Um, Int left equals uh, i plus one, and right equals length length minus one, um, because we need to length uh, zeroth index. That's why we have the negative one. And then, if you guys remember, we just do a while loop. So while left is um, less than right and we're just going to want to compare so we're going to use the math absolute if math absolute target minus um, actually we got to calculate the sum first but yeah this, so that's how this is going to work um, I'm going to actually just start coding it out because I'm basically writing the code exactly it's we just need to calculate the sum and compare it to the difference and, and such. So let's just do all that. And it's gonna be um, all of n squared because we're sorting it. And so we have diff equals integer dot max value. And I believe we just for loop I less than, oh, um, another thing is it's nice to grab length so we don't have to keep calling the function. And like I said, diff does not equal zero. Um, if it does equal zero, it cancels out of this for loop and we return the, um, the sum of the three numbers that are the closest which is what the problem is asking for. So um, then let's do left, calculate left, our left pointer equals i, well I can't type, and right equals length minus one. Okay, so here's the important logic, god damn it. Um, so let's calculate sum equals nums of i plus 
nums is left plus nums right. So those are going to be our three numbers that we're going to be calculating the sum of. Um, so if um, math.absolute, so we're going to use the absolute value function um, since we have to check both ways. Um, target minus sum is less than math.absolute diff. So the first time this is going to be true. So it's, we're just going to set, why is it? Diff equals target minus sum. Um, if, let's see. If sum is less than target left plus plus. So if the sum is less than the target, um, then we should move the left pointer ahead because it's the array is sorted. So it'll get it closer to the target. Else um, it's right minus minus, which means else uh, the sum is greater than the target. So we're gonna wanna try to make it smaller. Um, and then we just have to calculate the, we have to return the sum of the diff that is the closest. So um, diff equals, well, we have diff equal to target minus sum. So sum is gonna be equal to, we just subtract diff. So target minus diff. And that's how we get the sum. We can't actually just return the sum because we had no idea what the closest sum was. So return target minus diff. Um, hopefully this works first try, let's see. We usually have, oh wow it did. We usually have like a syntax error. Cool, so um, O of n squared runtime. Um, we're just looping through it once. And I don't know what the space is. Is it um, of, or wait, space complexity, log n to log n. Um, I'm not sure why it's log n space complexity. I'll have to do some research, but yeah, that's, that's how you solve it. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks for watching, guys.